the doctor told me that it was a stage two B, HER2 positive cancer. The thought of waking up and finding my hair on my pillow was, um, it was just too scary. I didn't want to look sick. I didn't want people to feel sorry. So Edwina did some research and came across a device few Americans are familiar with. It's called scalp cooling, and it has a high success rate in preventing hair loss during chemotherapy. If you cool down the hair follicles, their metabolism slows down, so they may be less sensitive to the toxic cell-killing effects of chemotherapy. By simple cooling of the scalp, you cause vasoconstriction, or the blood vessels actually get narrower, and you deliver less blood to the hair follicles, and therefore less chemotherapy. But there was a problem. Each session came with a pretty heavy price. Most insurance companies do not cover the cost of scalp cooling, but now there is an organization that is making it accessible to those who can't carry the cost. It's called Hair to Stay. I wrote to them and I explained what was going on, and right away they wrote me back and they gave me a 60% subsidy for my cool capping, which was amazing because I was able to keep my hair and feel normal throughout this horrible moment of my life. To help Hair to Stay raise money for scalp cooling subsidies, salons across the country are hosting Salonathon fundraisers on May 12th, the Saturday before Mother's Day. Participating salons will celebrate mothers and help cancer patients save their hair by donating proceeds from their services and product sales that day. We cut people's hair off to help people make wigs for hair. Now it's time to help try to also help save the hair. Every thousand dollars raised helps another person save their hair. When I first heard about this um, movement, I said, wow, we have to get involved and we have to get a lot of our friends involved too. When my mom went through it, we didn't even know it existed. So it's about awareness, it's about raising money, it's about getting the money to the people who really could use getting this uh, in their hands. Hair to Stay was the most wonderful organization to come across in the middle of my diagnosis. They responded to me immediately. They helped me right away. They made it so easy to get their help. And they checked in on me all the time to see how I was doing with my treatment. They were wonderful. I cannot thank them enough. I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. My name is Stephanie Abrams, and I produced this video. I also used scalp cooling when I went through chemotherapy for breast cancer last year. Keeping my hair enabled me to continue working during chemo and maintain a sense of normal during one of the most trying times of my life. If you happen to be sitting in a salon right now, just think about how important your hair is to your identity, your confidence, and overall well-being. Every thousand dollars we raise helps Hair to Stay subsidize one more cancer patient so that they don't have to lose their hair.